Not that anybody is actually answering me at this stage. Seems like they don't want to know about leopards. If any stations can copy me. Uh, no. Somebody's on the radio. I just can't hear them. So that's why I can't get hold of them. Maybe at some point I will be able to. There we go. The station just an update. I've got uh, these fuck about English. No, still not. The radio doesn't want to work. It seems it's going to be a tech-fueled day today, so I'll try again just now and hope for the best. But you know what's going to be a crazy? It's going to be these two leopards are going straight to where that ground hornbill killer is. And I wonder what's going to happen. wonder if they're going to stalk those ground hornbills and try and run in, or if they're going to feast on that carcass. Can you imagine how cool that's going to be? So they are heading directly to that point. They literally are following the path that's going to bump them into those hornbills. So it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to take place when these two spot those hornbills we're going to have a very unique situation and a crazy sighting if they do go into that area the problem is that for me to follow them to that point is going to be quite tough so i'm going to try and see if i can follow them sorry my girl are you still a bit wary of where you are and rightly so you need to be wary you're out of your territory by a long way but females will do this females will often move way out following a male and yesterday i said it i wonder if these leopards are not going to move and her follow tingana into juma and so these are the way this is what happens is that they're so keen to mate that they'll even follow a male leopard but she knows also that the male leopard generally will distract any female that sees her and she can then sneak around in this area they've changed course slightly now so they're getting more away from the hornbills again although i don't know it's going to be interesting i reckon we are on a collision course and maybe they're going to hear the hornbills or they're going to smell the tortoise or the hornbill carcass and they're going to go that way imagine if we get tingana picking up a ground hornbill with the wings out that'll be just the most ridiculous picture look 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 you see he's stopped now he's listening he's changed his demeanor all of a sudden he's heard something and maybe he's picked up that scent both of their tails are moving quite a bit as though they've seen something so i wonder what it is that's up ahead but how cool is that those two leopards walking together it doesn't get any better than this now i'm going to try on the radio it seems as though nobody's talking is any station copy me hmm interesting seems like no one can hear me if any stations can copy me, I've got these uh, mating leopards mobile north on Twin Dams Road, Tingana and Kuchava. Hey, firm, they just um, heading up towards uh, Elephant Skull, Twin Dams Junction. You can make your way. Please just control the lineup as well. I'm going to be live. So, there we go. We've at least let those. That's crazy. The guy that I just spoke to on the radio tells me that there's a honey badger in front of his vehicle on Gallego Shortcut as he speaks. He said it just popped up on the road and is running in front of him, which is pretty crazy. So our leopards, you can see, are stopping, listening. The breeze that is blowing is actually blowing in the right direction for them to smell this tortoise because it's blowing from slightly northeast towards the southwest, which is where they are. So it's going to be interesting to see if they pick it up. He's definitely smelling and picking up some sort of sign of something. Their tails are very expressive and he keeps kind of wagging his tail a little bit and and as though he spotted something they also they walking quite circumspectly they're looking you can see she's marching on and off the road so interesting behavior at this stage now what amazes me is this morning and, and why i laugh about this is because i called in leopard tracks nobody was interested in my leopard tracks they were coming to help me but now i hear that there's about 12 people that want to come see these leopards which is just goes to show you sometimes people are like that they don't really know what they want to do and it can be a bit frustrating but we're going to carry on following them anyway if they weren't interested in helping tracking then well we're going to just enjoy our leopards for ourselves Please don't go that way, Kuchava, because if they go in that way, I, that's the way I had to follow Tundi the other day. It was a delightful experience. Poor Wendy, I think, is still surviving. We know that our earpieces didn't survive that thicket that we went into. So let's hope Tingana drags her just along the road as we go up and in towards Twin Dams, because I know his route generally is Twin Dams. And I wonder how far he's going to march her into Juma, because he's taking her deep now. And it's going to be very interesting to see how she reacts. Look, he's smelling. He's definitely picked up the scent of those ground hornbills. You see, he's going straight in that direction now. 
I wonder if he's now picked up. And as he comes over the hill, he's going to have the surprise on those hornbills. They're not going to know he's coming because he's going to have their height advantage as well as him being so stealthy. He's going to be able to get up there and not have any sort of issue to be able to stalk them. There goes Kuchava. She's wondering what's going on. And also crossing over and she's going to pick up Tandy's scent shortly because Tandy was all over that area two nights ago. I wonder if she'll recognize it as her mother. It might be quite interesting. I know that they have been seen together once or twice and they've chased one another. So I would imagine that would be the same situation again. But they are striding straight towards. You can see Tingana's going straight towards where that ground hornbill carcass is. So I'm going to try just get into a position where I can see them but not disturb them too much because I don't want the ground hornbills to run. But the ground hornbills theoretically are straight in front and you can see look Tingana's nose he just keeps lifting it and and smelling so he's picking up exactly where that carcass is he knows he's striding straight towards that area let's go forward and see if the ground hornbills are still there this is going to be so cool if they go in that direction of course like I said I don't want to scare the hornbills so I'm trying to stay as clear of them as possible but I also want to get a, a view that we can see and not disturb them now I know I've left the leopards behind slightly that's okay we'll find them again fairly quickly it's not an issue that's the one nice thing of having two individuals but I just want to get into a position where we're giving space to the hornbills as well as the leopards and we'll be able to see nicely from up here it's going to be similar to what we saw with the hornbills earlier but at least we'll be able to get a really decent view of what's going on without probably disturbing anyone i think i don't know i'm going to try obviously it's a little bit difficult because of the terrain here uh that side senzo okay so that's not going to work from here so as soon as you can see senzo let me know Luckily, I can also get down this bank. I've done it before, so we'll be able to get down if we need to. But there we go. Is the, are the hornbills there? No, the hornbills aren't there anymore. Okay, if the hornbills are not there, then we can quickly go back that side and try and get down and follow the leopards. I just If the hornbills were there, it would have been an interesting thing, but they're not there anymore. So our leopards are obviously just going to walk down and they're not going to stalk anything. So I'll try and follow them down rather. It's going to be easier to keep up with them that way. The reason why I didn't want to go down is because I would have scared the hornbills off and then the leopards would have had a tough time of trying to find... Well not trying to find but to stalk those animals and I didn't want to have a situation where we lost either one of them in terms of us influencing what was going on here the leopards are they right here in front of me so it wasn't too difficult to find them again there's Tingana slowly ambling down Tingana hello boy what are you doing he looks as though he's looking down into the riverbed. Maybe he's, the hornbills are still here. I can't see, but you can see his body language is that he's staring. Oh, there's Kuchava. That's why he's looking down. Look, she wants to mate. She is a beautiful female, though. Isn't she? Now, I wonder, like I say, if she's going to start take, staking the claim in the Chitwa territory, and we're going to see a lot more of her. Now, Tingana's going to go straight towards that tortoise. That's where he's headed. We're right in line with it. The smell is delightful, as I always mention, with these tortoises. So he's gone in that area. And the hornbills are still here. They're running away. So the hornbills have just run away. They're also still here. So let's get down there and see if we can get the action. How crazy is this? There goes a hornbill flying, another hornbill flying. Oh, the hornbills are clever. They've just gone up into the tree. So they're just above me here. And they've gone in that direction. But let's see if the leopards go down to this carcass. Interesting, though, the tortoise is gone. So the tortoise, oh no, the tortoise is here in the road. And has been pecked at by these hornbills. The hornbills have fed off the tortoise, cleaned that up quite quickly. And now, where have our leopards gone? They were here. Tinkana was coming straight down. Can you see them, Senzo? They're here. So they've just gone straight past it. They haven't fed on it like I thought they might. They're trying to actually mate instead at the murder scene. It's a bit all bit macabre. But look, there she's running in front of him to try and 
mate with him? But he's not interested too much. Tingy, what's wrong? Have you had a long night of mating instead? Sorry, Senzo, I'm in getting in the way a little bit. But I'm surprised they didn't go after the carcass at all. I thought they would have come down and maybe picked it up and just looked. But it seems as though he's not interested. That was I was hoping he was going to pick it up and we could get that shot of him with the ground hornbill in his mouth. How cool would that have been if we had seen that? That would have been absolutely amazing. But he's still there. Um, I'm just trying to think where I'm going to go. No, they've decided they're going to leave this alone. You can see the hornbill is being absolutely hammered by these guys. Its beak is completely off now. So for those that are a bit squeamish, don't look now. That's what the hornbill has been rendered into. It's still fairly whole, but you can see how the beak is broken off. They've picked at most of the meat around there. They've really started to clean that up. Lots of flies as well. So an amazing scene. Now, Senzo, I'm going to try and just keep up with our leopards because as much as the ground hornbill is interesting, uh, we did get a good view of it yesterday and our leopards are moving and this area is an area I can lose them very quickly, but they're mobile north right towards where I have those tracks. They're going to pick up those tracks fairly shortly because her tracks came from this direction. So soon they're going to pick up that scent and we're going to have them moving in this area. But how cool is this? Look, they're at eye level with us, or in fact above eye level, striding away on the bank. It's a, quite a weird angle to see a leopard. It's different to normal. It's something odd about being lower than them. They makes them far more impressive and bigger. 